In this video, I wanted to go over five different WordPress plugins that I think you should keep an eye on in 2026. And I'll give you my reasoning for each one of them as we go through. Now, the first on my list, and this is in no particular order, is MailerPress. MailerPress is an email marketing plugin for WordPress from the same people that have developed SEO Press. So it comes from a company with a proven track record. So this is always a good starting point for a new plugin. And even though this is new and it still needs some additional features, hence why I say to keep an eye on it over the next 12 months, it already got off to a really solid start. First of all, it's built and integrated into the full site editing style of WordPress. So it feels like a native plugin. So as WordPress catches up with itself and we do get that newer kind of dashboard and admin section, this is going to feel like an integrated part into the overall WordPress ecosystem, which I think is a definitely a very, very good way to approach it. Now, even though this does need time to grow and develop, I still think the initial release had enough inside there to make it a viable proposition for a lot of users. Sure, it's not going to rival some of those bigger plugins that are more CRM orientated. This has one job at this point in time, and that is to handle emails and email marketing. And I think this is going to do a good job of it. If you do need those extra features, maybe time to look somewhere else. But if this is something that fits the need, then I think you should definitely keep an eye on it. The roadmap's already looking interesting. Since it's been released, there's already been three or four updates. Some of it bring in some of those roadmap features like custom fields and so on. So keep an eye on this. And if you're in the market for an email marketing platform, you want to run yourself inside WordPress and then connect that to external email providers like Mailgun and so on. The mailer press is one to keep an eye on over the next 12 months. Next on my list is Fluent Card. Now, Fluent Card has been out for several months and it comes from the same people behind Fluent Forms, Fluent CRM, Fluent Community, Fluent Everything. Why do I think is this one to keep an eye on? Well, over the last couple of months since this was originally launched, there's been a lot of key updates, a lot of new features brought into it. They've listened to the community and I think it has a very bright future. Also, if you come from using WooCommerce or other sort of online sales platforms, there are certain inherent things that you may find frustrating. For example, WooCommerce in the back end can be quite slow when you want to add in additional plugins to kind of get what I would consider to be core functionality. It all starts to get quite expensive, whereas Fluent Cart has a lot of those options built in. It's incredibly fast to work with. It's well optimized and it's built to be flexible. This, again, is one of the reasons why I think if you are on the lookout for a shopping cart solution for WordPress, this is one to A, test out because it's been out for a couple of months and the free version gives you a lot of the functionality to give you a really good solid sort of see how it all works. Again, like I said, I've got videos on this down below if you want to check those out. But Fluent Cart, keep an eye on it. There's a very active, vibrant community keeping people up to date with what's going on, giving feedback, taking feedback on board making fixes where they're needed and so on. So it is actively being developed, which I think is a really solid thing. So the next 20, 12 to 24 months, I think we're going to see Fluent Cart really start to grow and blossom and get more adoption. Now, another thing that always makes me feel confident about the future of platforms like Fluent Cart and MailerPress is that you've got third party tools starting to integrate with them already. They've only been out a very short amount of time, but they are already being supported. So the plugins we're going to take a look at a little later in this video already have support for both Fluent Cart and MailerPress, which means we can do an awful lot more with these platforms and connect them up to external services, other WordPress plugins and so on, and expand what they can do and maybe even fill the gaps in these plugins that we need that may not get developed. So keep an eye on the rest of this video and I'll go through some of those as well. So Fluent Cart is definitely one to check out. Try the free version, get a feel for it. Keep an eye on it over the next 12 months because I think this has a very bright future ahead of it. Next on my list is ACPT. Now I've covered ACPT quite a few times. It's not a new plugin. This has been out a couple of years and I covered this right back at the beginning when it's initially launched. So why am I talking about it in this video? Well, there are already plenty of plugins out there that handle the same kind of thing, creating custom post type meta fields and so on. But what I like about ACPT is, first of all, the price is very, very good. You can also grab a lifetime deal. Currently, there's a 20% discount on this. So if you do want to jump on this, and there is a free version, but I think you really want the pro version to get the most out of it. It's already proving itself to be solid, robust, and also having great support for a lot of the key tools that I use, and I know a lot of my viewers use. So things like Bricks, Elementor, WordPress native functionality, and so on. There's integrations into a lot of different tools. 
tools here. So that again opens up a ton of possibilities. And if you're coming from something like Advanced Custom Fields, which is my personal tool of choice, I'm not gonna lie about it, I've been using this for years, there are still certain features that you don't have in ACF and ACF Pro that you need to add third-party plugins in. For example, front-end forms and things along those lines. Well, ACPT has that functionality built in, but I do still think there's room for improvement in some of those areas, and I've talked to the developer about this. Hopefully, these are things that will be taken on board if myself and other people give feedback on these different areas. But one of the cool things I like about this, and one of the things that always give me the kind of warm and fuzzies, is when I talk to the developers, how responsive they are to not just myself, which I've got an audience, so you kind of feel like, well, maybe they treat me differently to maybe your Joe Blogs that's just bought the plugin. But my experience is that is not the case with any of these plugins that I've talked about. The developer is open, responsive, actively developing this and has been actively developing this for the last couple of years. And it's growing and has grown into a very, very viable alternative. Some of the bigger names like ACF Pro, Metabox and so on. Check out ACPT. It might have all the things that you need and it might come in at a much cheaper price than what you are currently looking at and still give you all that functionality with a developer that is actively involved in pushing this product forward. So keep an eye on it. Link in the description down below. Next on my list, I have two plugins that are basically the same kind of thing, and I'll give you my reasoning behind why I've got two here. But the first one is Flowmatic. Now, this goes back to what I talked about a little earlier in this video, where it gives me sort of confidence in tools like MailerPress and FluentCart and so on, where we've got tools like Flowmatic already rolling out support for those platforms. So if you don't know what Flowmatic is, it's basically a tool that allows you to connect WordPress to external services, internal services, and kind of connect all these different things. For example, with MailerPress, we can have someone, someone signs up onto a form in Bricks, for example, we want to automatically add them into our MailerPress. Then we want to do something else to it. It's basically allowing you to connect multiple different platforms up. We have triggers and actions. I've covered this in its own dedicated video with all different kinds of automation tools, both WordPress-based ones like Flowmatic and external ones like Public Connect, Zapier, those kinds of tools. They all work in fundamentally the same way. But the key difference between a lot of these is the platforms that they support. And this is why I've got two here, because even though they are very similar, there are slight differences and nuances between the two. So Flowmatic, why do I think this is a good one to get involved with? Again, the developer is incredibly responsive. I've talked to him on multiple occasions. I've asked him for integrations and he's rolled those out very, very quickly. And the same thing goes for the active community on Facebook, where he's constantly listening to what people want, listening to the integrations they require and integrating those into Flowmatic. But that doesn't stop there. There's so many other things. You can have an MCP server, chat server, Lots of things you can do all using Flowmatic and have full control of this on your WordPress website and start connecting up all manner of different things to your cart, to your email platform, to your CRM, to anything that's external. There's so many different use cases. Check out Flowmatic, again, another really useful one. And currently there is 13 days left on locking in the lifetime plans. So if you want this and you want a lifetime plan, you can lock that in until I think it's the 31st of December. After that, lifetime is going away. It'll be an annual subscription. I've been using Flowmatic for probably the last two and a half, three years, and this is growing into a fantastic platform. So sticking with the automation tools, we're going to take a look at BitFlows. Now, BitFlows is another tool very, very similar. In fact, incredibly similar to the tools like Flowmatic, Zapier, and so on. The key reason why I say having a look at this and having a look at Flowmatic is because while they have a massive overlap, they also have little edge cases which are different. For example, BitFlows may have slightly different integrations, different triggers and actions compared to what you've got in Flowmatic. So when you are looking at tools like this, I always think you need to compare what you use or what tools you require in relation to what these provide and then pick accordingly. So I'm not saying one is better than the other. I think they both have strengths. They both have slight weaknesses, but they both do a very, very similar job. Again, BitFlows in this example is slightly newer than Flowmatic, but again, it comes from a team that have already got a background in creating WordPress products. So BitForms, Bit Automations, and so on. There's a ton of different plugins they've got. So they're, again, they're not new to the market. They've already been out there for several years. So again, not not another fly-by-night company, which you can kind of see pop up every now and again in WordPress web design and so on. 
check this out because I think this already has a lot of really useful options and it is expanding over time. Again, this is another one which I say you need to keep an eye on over the next 12 months. They've got a current offer running which ends in six days and whatever. So a link down below if you want to check that out. If you miss that, the links will still be active. Check it out if you want to take a look at it. Now, a lot of these will have free versions you can test out. Some like Bitflows and Flowmatic have paid or premium versions. So bear that in mind. Take it for what it's worth. These are just tools that I think you should keep an eye on over the next 12 months because I think they are growing into very viable solutions in WordPress. Anyway, if you've got any tools or plugins that you think I should keep an eye on over the next 12 months, let me know down below because I'm always on the lookout for new tools, plugins, and things like that that I can take a look at and kind of get a feel for. It's exciting to see what's out there and what developers are releasing. And there are so many that's very easy for me to miss tons of them. Drop your feedback down below and let me have some suggestions. As always, all applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.